just listening uh, to all this gives us goosebumps, uh, Manish. Uh, you, you say you're a listener, you are also an educator. There's so much more that I think uh, all of you bring to the table. But uh, there is also this tweet that has just come in from the European Space Agency. And I quickly want to uh, you know, read this. And I'm just going to request our team uh, to fire that tweet if possible, Manish. And you can take that uh, ahead. Now, this is the ESA says that our new Norcia antenna will serve as a backup for ISRO's ground station during the Chandrayaan-3 landing, currently planned for Wednesday, 23rd of August. And it, in fact, retweets another tweet by the ESA operations that says another ESA station has turned into the Chandrayaan-3 mission. ESA's 35-meter deep antenna in New North Sea and Australia will provide the tracking support during the lander module's descent to the lunar surface. The first contact, it says Manish, uh, with the module was established yesterday. So this does tell us that it's not just Indians like you, me, and everyone here who are so elated, you know, who already having goosebumps, very, very anxious. But it's the world looking at this because this is that one model that the world will be envious about, you know, right from its budget to its structure to the kind of tests, Manish, that it has undergone. Yeah, actually, actually, uh, there is one more aspect to it. That's the technology part of it. See, uh, let's understand why ESA and NASA, all these, everyone is coming together. Because there is one very fun part about it. That's, that is, Earth is rotating on its axis and revolving around the sun, right? So there are some possible times mm -hmm. when Chandrayaan-3 is in orbit around the moon. It might not be visible to our ground stations that we have in India. So we have to, anyways, mm -hmm. go for a collaborative effort. That's why all such missions, when we are aiming for the deep space explorations, they are global missions. They are collaborative missions. So that's why ESA deep space antennas, they will be tracking the Chandrayaan. They will be tracking our Vikram lander when, might possible, it is out of sight for our antennas. And then the communication will happen. Now, similar thing, just right now, uh, Sir has mentioned that we have made a communication with Chandrayaan 2 orbiter. Now, that is also one very you know, important yes. aspect of our mission planning. In case, just, just you know, at an off-nominal situation, let's say we are successfully, we have successfully landed on moon. But, you know, because of some uncertainties, let's say we land in such a position where our ground stations are not directly visible to our Vikram. Now, in that case, we can't afford a communication blackout. We need extra support. And our Chandrayaan-2 orbiter is that most vital extra support. We have our propulsion module also that will act as a relay. So, you know, this is a foolproof planning that not mm -hmm. for a single nanosecond we'll say that we are going to miss sight of Chandrayaan. So it is like we are ready for that day. We are ready for those 17 minutes of terror to happen. And oh, for sure, our readiness is so robust that these those 17 minutes are not going to terrorize us like they did in our Chandrayaan 2 mission. <laughs> you know, you, you used the word terrorize. I'm, I'm not sure whether that, that is the best word because, you know, it, it's good, good stress. Um, Ajay Leleji, one would say that it's important to have good stress, but, you know, to keep that smile and that uh, hope on there because it, it, it's only an achiever, Manish, you know, who falls down but gets up again. And that's exactly what the team at ISRO has done. You know, even though Chandrayaan 2 was partially successful, but we've corrected, we have seen the mistakes that were made, and we are trying to ensure that we don't end up making the same mistakes. The reason why, I think the world today is also looking at us. But